Hello Gemini friends and welcome to the Immaterial Garden. This is your weekly reading. Thank you kindly for the likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. Lovely to see you and hope you are having a wonderful day. Uh, everything you need to know about this session is listed down below in the description box, including the decks that we're using, astrological energies for today and the month, as well as who this may resonate with. If you are cross-watching specifically, I, I would suggest checking out the cross-watching channel where every Wednesday I'll be posting readings that will uh, resonate more from the perspective of the other person you're dealing with, you know, um, because these messages are mostly intended for, you know, those that have the Gemini placements, okay? <laughs> I feel like more often than not, I get the most um, cross-watchers that are trying to figure out, like, something about Gemini, and then they get really upset. So I just want you to know that it's not necessarily about you. These are the messages that Gemini needs to hear, okay? All right. Anyway, my friends, I did get, oh, speaking of which, okay, so I did get a download for you. I got the song, Didn't We Almost Have It All? And I have to say, Gemini, you are so spicy. You were like, we didn't have shit, bitch. <laughs> we didn't have shit. That's kind of what you're saying to this, your energy is saying or what you're, what you're thinking when this person is trying to say, like, didn't we almost have it all? You're like, well, maybe you did, but I didn't have shit. <laughs> All right, um, maybe I, I feel like you're feeling a bit skeptical. You might feel, a, I feel like you're in good humor, but I feel like you're just, you've had it with someone. You are just like, I cannot even look at your face anymore. You are ridiculous is what I'm getting, okay? Uh, and I think it's partly because maybe this, this person, I don't know, it's like you almost don't understand how they got so like overly invested in your business or overly invested in you. I mean, I don't know, it's almost like... <laughs> I feel like you were almost like just trying to be friendly or you're just trying to be like friends or something like that. And suddenly it just this snowball effect into, you know, it's like this person is acting like you like you had a breakup or something or like you had such a one. Even if you were together, like you had such a wonderful relationship and you're like, when? When did we have this great relationship? <laughs> I feel like this might be energy coming in for you, though. Uh you know, Mercury retrograde is going to happen in the sign of Aquarius on starting January 30th. So it's approaching. You may already be feeling this pre-retrograde shadow. People may already be approaching or coming back in towards you, especially with you, you having the ruling planet of Mercury. OK, all right, let's go ahead and take a look here, though. Um, aside from what I got for you, <laughs> let's see what is the overall energies for you for the next seven days, possibly beyond for our Gemini placement friends. Here we have the full moon. We have achievement, all right? So it looks like you have achieved the independence, the separation, or the healing that you were that you were looking for. That's what I'm getting here, Gemini. I think even before, um, I also feel like you are really just looking towards your manifestations. I feel like you have your mind on your money and your money on your mind. I feel like ultimately you don't have a lot of time to mess around with other people right now. You don't have a lot of time to mess around with other people's BS or nonsense, which is kind of funny because that's why you you don't understand how this maybe this person is so overly invested in your plans, in your business, in your energy, because you're like, it's not we, it's me. OK, some of you, maybe this is someone who's trying to muscle in or trying to interject themselves into your achievement. So it's like, Gemini, you built something, you created something, you released something. And suddenly it's not your project. It's our project. It's it's all this we, we, we. And you're like, who the fuck are you? OK, <laughs> I I feel like you even maybe you have a falling out with this person maybe you even address it you just like we have to cut this shit out like at the neck you know cut it out fast and early so that there's no miscommunication and suddenly this person they're just like I feel like they are going to this energy of like well what about all the good times and what if, you know didn't we almost have it all and you're like you're like I <laughs> I don't know I just you you just don't understand like why they feel like you did this together is kind of what I'm getting. I, I don't know. Let's go ahead and move forward here. Let's see. What are the messages? Maybe we'll get some clarity here. What are the messages for Gemini, especially for the next seven days, possibly beyond? You know what? I'm going to be <laughs> full transparency. This kind of is a little sick, but it makes me laugh just like this person's attitude, because this is almost like someone who 
uh, gave you a lot of trouble, gave you a lot of worries, a lot of stress or whatever. And then they're like, well, who would you be without me? Like, you, who would you be without, like, without me as your antagonist, without me as the bad guy, okay? This is almost someone who's like, um, <laughs> isn't there a song like Without Me or something? Isn't it an Eminem song? I don't know, maybe like, I don't know, I can't remember, but I just kind of feel like it's almost like even if this person caused a lot of stress or a lot of grief in your life, a lot of drama, they're like, yeah, but it's because of all of that, that conflict that you, that you were able to achieve greatness. That's like their psychology or their, their, that's like their motivation. I don't know. I feel like you're just looking at this person like that's five of swords energy. We have, uh. Venus and Aquarius energy. Yeah, I feel like usually you wouldn't, you don't want to get into arguments and stuff, but it's like you have to set the record straight because this person is even, I feel like they're even talking about it like with other people. They're talking on the streets like that, you know, you didn't give them their due or they didn't get credit or you're not giving them the credit or the due that they, that they are owed or something like that. They might even be talking about as if you had broken up, even if you weren't with this person, like you were, you broke up with the relationship and like somehow it's like, like you were cheating on them or something but you're like we were never together just very i feel like this person really gets under your skin i feel like this person pisses you off um i just i think you're just trying to figure out what is this person trying to achieve and it's just like it's you just can't understand their, their motivation here or what they think they're going to get out of the situation or they're going to get from you okay i feel like there is confusion and conflict all right, here we have the Knight of Coins energy. You might be dealing with a Virgo, possibly a Leo Virgo Cusper, but doesn't have to be. Uh, but ultimately here, I feel like this is someone that you've known for a long time. This might even surprise you, this person's behavior, or this might have just been someone who was just a background figure. A, a, I don't know, I feel like there's someone who was in the backgrounds and they feel like they're entitled to a lot more than what they than what they're being given or granted. I don't know, for some reason, I do get the weird sense though, this person feels like that you, like they've been with you from, from day one or they've been with you from the beginning or something like that. But it's like, I don't know. I feel like you're contesting that. Maybe someone, maybe like a backup dancer or maybe someone in the background, like uh, someone who worked at your company or something like that, maybe they're trying to say that you ripped off one of their ideas, that you ripped off, they're fighting you for intellectual property of something that you created because they're under the notion that they helped to create it, but it's like, you're like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, here we have the Two of Cups energy. Venus in Cancer energy. This person definitely feels like they were an integral part of your success, of your company, of your business, uh, getting you that promotion, your graduation, whatever it is, okay? This person, they are like, they're blabbing their mouth and they're trying to take credit for something that obviously you're the one who created it. And I don't, and you're trying to figure out like, what is this person's motivation or problem? But it's like this person, I mean, I don't know, this is a little scary, Gemini, because it's like this person is convinced. This person is convinced that that this is what happened, that you were this close or you were besties or you were dating or uh, they were a business partner when like none of that was actually happening. Not in reality is what I'm getting, okay? All right. Uh, here we have the Sun card energy, though, Leo energy. We also have the Queen of Swords energy, Libra energy with the minor resonance in Virgo. I feel like if this is a court case, though, and someone is trying to challenge you for intellectual property or property rights, or if they're trying to if they're trying to take credit that is not owed to them, it is not going to go through. The truth of the situation will come through. I hear you will be vindicated. All right. Uh, with the Queen of Swords energy, I feel like this is a this is a fair judgment, okay? Uh, 
if you're not dealing with a Virgo, but we did say Leo Virgo Cusper as well. It could be someone with it could be a Leo that you're dealing with, but whatever it is, it's like it's proven that you're the you're the one who created this. You are the sole creator, sole owner of this intellectual property, okay? If it's a relationship, I just do not know how to <laughs> this person in their mind, okay, in their mind, in their version, you were dating, you were together, you had a commitment, okay? Whether this is a surprise to you or not, this person is claiming to be your ex or claiming to be someone that you had an affair with. And I honestly feel like part of it could be one, this person could actually be delusional. In that case, that's the, that's the place where you need to be safe you need to be careful okay it's bad enough if this person because some of them might be coming in trying to get money but it would be bad enough if they were coming in to get money but i really just feel like this person honestly believes this okay all right let's go ahead and see what's at the what's at the bottom of the deck we do have the ten of coins though so this is um mercury and virgo energy and here it looks like yeah this is going to be settled the judgment is kind of the judgment is going to come down in your favor if this is someone who's claiming to have had an affair with you or a relationship you know i feel like other people get get the story is is you set the story straight that's what i'm getting here with the sun card people see you know people believe you is what i'm getting 10 of 10 of coins 10 of pentacles energy people are standing by you and, and I feel like it's probably because you have other people, other creators, other people in your company, other family members, whoever it is, other, maybe like other partners, could have been business partners, could have been ex-partners. Other people are actually vindicating you. They're defending you against this person because it does feel like whatever this person is saying, again, I want to be sensitive towards them because they really do believe that you were together or that you owe them this thing so i don't want to like invalidate them but i do want to say it looks like whatever their impression is it looks like their impression it's conflicted with the facts okay with what is manifested or what is actual manifest here with the full moon what is reality okay all right uh let's go ahead and take a look here what is um let's see if we can get potential outcome and then we'll get some takeaway guidance a very confusing situation just because I don't even know if it, I think that if this person if they haven't already emerged you you may not even it's gonna pop up you know maybe in the next seven days they're gonna contest something or challenge you in something and I just get this energy of like what the just you being like what the f are you talking about okay all right let's go ahead and take a look here what is the um watch your frustration levels you know uh it's not going to help you to get super fl flustered and frustrated with this person i think the best thing you can do is just you know try to limit your communication with them and you know let the court system or let the public you know the court of the of public decision or or the actual court system deal with them okay what is the um potential outcome here for our gemini friends especially for the next seven days possibly beyond here we have the Ten of Swords energy, Sun and Gemini. So if you are a Sun and Gemini, it does look like there is this treachery that this person is trying to bring in. But even if this person is trying to bring fight towards you, this will be this will be ended very swiftly is what I'm getting. And here with the Sun, the Sun is in your corner. So here and, and Justice is in your corner and the Ten of Pentacles. So ultimately here, it's like they they whatever they're trying to do to, to destabilize or to retract from your achievement or your legacy or your goals they just they aren't able to do that it is very traumatic or dramatic though is what i'm getting all right because i just feel like um even if it's brief it's not very pleasant to get i don't know to have this sort of dispute with someone especially if it's like especially out in public okay here we have the three of wands energy sun and aries energy but i feel like um I feel like if this person has not already already popped into your life or emerged with these claims, this is something that's going to happen probably in the next three to seven days, okay? Uh, it could be do, dealing with, you know, it could be a Leo, it could be a Sun in Aries, it could be, 
it could be a Virgo or a Leo Virgo Cusper, but I feel like this person is going to make some claim against you sometime in the next three to seven days, okay? It's going to be kind of, in, I feel like it's going to be kind of embarrassing or it's kind of stressful when they first have these claims, but it's like everyone can see through this person and the story is set straight. You are vindicated. This person though, I do kind of feel like you have to be careful because in some cases this person is very delusional and I just, I don't know, um... I don't feel like they're going to stop because they think they're right, okay? Because they, they're just venom, venomously convinced that they are right or that this is the way it is, okay? You might have to um, take some sort of action, like a protective order against this person. And, you know, I don't want to wish that on anyone. I'm not, like, trying to spread doom and gloom, but wouldn't you rather be prepared for, you know, for anything possible than to get caught, you know, without having any... Pre any, any um chance to have preparations or anything else okay all right here we have the um the hermit card energy which is virgo energy i do feel like you may need to lay low a bit after this um after this occurs if you're already getting judgment if you're coming to completion and you've already been going through this if someone if this develops in the next three days have faith it's gonna it's gonna turn out in your favor but it is probably good for you try to stay in try try not to allow people to drag you into your shadow energy or to confront you it's better for you to maybe um keep your own confidence here and maybe st maybe stay low okay stay low maybe under the radar okay all right thank you so much friends uh well actually let's see what's at the bottom of the deck here we have the wise one energy but this is hierophant energy taurus energy so ultimately here things are going to stabilize for you uh even if you have to lay low a little bit things will stabilize for you but the truth will come out okay that's what i get here with this uh hierophant energy all right thank you so much friends please join me again gratitude to the divine to you and all of creation